Good day. It's Brian here from quantlabs.net. Just wanted to give you a few opinions on MATLAB on GPU versus parallelization, uh, the costs, and so on and so forth. Learning from a pile of uh, MATLAB webinars, uh, I've come to the conclusion that MATLAB is definitely my choice of uh, a lot of heavy lifting in terms of uh, uh, you know doing a lot of computational type of processes, analyzing different data sets, namely obviously going to be something like uh, tick data. So from there, um, I'm trying to determine is it going to be R, is it going to be C++, is it going to be C Sharp, or an application built in any of these with R and MATLAB. The way I figure it is R is just too premature for my needs, um, the packaging and the video and the resources. I don't want to learn a new language. I made that choice uh, in the summer of 2011, the R versus MATLAB. R was just too premature at that point versus MATLAB to get me up and running. Uh, that's why I'm using MATLAB. So revisiting MATLAB, all the different webinars um, versus as of MATLAB 2009A, I believe, the parallelization and GPU uh, toolboxes that are available within MATLAB are worth uh, paying for as the um, analytical tools and heavy lifting can be done very, very quickly. Uh, if you want to see demos of that, I would encourage you to to visit um, the MATLAB webinars. Uh, just do a Google search, Google search on that for any of the GPU or parallelization, uh, just to see how easy it is. Uh, the other nice thing about MATLAB, it's an all fully integrated environment with uh, object-oriented programming. Uh, Simulink brings a whole new dimension to things for visual building strategies, um, as well as the um, capabilities of both the GPU and the parallelization is very powerful and very easy to implement. And once you build a model to parallelize either that model or algorithm or to apply GPU is very, very easy. It's just maybe one or two lines to your current algorithm code and, and you're off to the races. Now in terms of speed, uh, both the parallelization and the GPU would exponentially speed up some of the demos. I've seen the webinars are anywhere from four to ten times uh, the speed of, of doing it serially. So as a result, um, and now it just comes down to which is the more cost effective way of uh, um, speeding up the analysis of basically take data. Um, I'm finding GPU is probably the more effective way of doing that just because the, um, let's say if you go with um, some of the NVIDIA Tesla boards, which MATLAB supports out of box, it's very powerful and very cost effective where you can get like 4 gig, 6 gig, and they're generally running for about $1,000. Now in terms of uh, the boards, um, you know, they don't take up a lot of space if you're going to run them in a in a tower environment um, for desktops, so that, that's a good choice. Um, because of parallelization, uh, obviously you're going to need a cluster and then have workers, which adds in a variety of new licensing fees for MATLAB, which can, can get very expensive. Um, so as a result, the GPU option is probably the better way to go. Um, but if you are um, running your, uh, let's say, an HFT type of trading in a a direct market access environment obviously you're going to be probably re most likely restricted to uh, rack mountable servers so you know obviously I don't think you can just put a GPU board into those type of servers so obviously you'll, you'll be forced to go with um, the GP or sorry you'd have to go with the parallelization and then have your workers on separate servers which can add up but um, some of the demos that I've seen uh, you could probably put it on a very high-end uh, server with a 16 core, let's say, running for about four to five thousand dollars, that might exponentially um, speed things up. I've seen some R demos through recently revolutionary uh, analytics w for some R um, package with running underneath was Hadoop and whatnot. But nonetheless, that wasn't the point. Is that with a, th a billion? Um, uh, elements in a data set you can do the searching and processing within something like 20 seconds but um, the demos that I've seen on the webinars with MATLAB if you have like two three million you can do it in as fast as two two seconds or even half a second so again um, depending upon the environment your target environment um, if you're running it in a DMA you have no choice but to go paralyze um, but if you are running on a desktop environment 
uh, sorry, on a desktop tower, you can accommodate the GPU boards. Um, the GPU option might be a good uh, choice using the GPU uh, toolkit or toolbox from within MATLAB. Um, so that's pretty well it in a nutshell of MATLAB for, uh, GPU for parallelization for uh, um, quick analysis. Hopefully, I'll help you out.